Hi there, everyone. Here, Pyrel. Here's on the vlog. So, uh, these past few days have been pretty busy in terms of making videos because I've been recording, I've been editing stuff for the Let's Play Brigade, editing the stuff that I've been recording for my own channel, editing vlogs. Um, yeah, I've been pretty busy, but um, today had some strange mishaps with um, episode 18 of No More Heroes because for some reason there was something wrong with the uh, the video file that Game Capture HD spat out. So I had to like uh, convert the TS file that's like there was a backup. Uh, there were some weird desyncing issues. So like halfway through episode 18 there's going to be some desync between uh, the game audio footage and my commentary. So eh, it's a No More Heroes LP. I'm used to having things at, at least one episode in every No More Hero, Heroes LP I, I've done so far has had an issue with it. The first one especially because, yeah, that one. That was a rough LP because uh, my old capture card would not work. So, eh, but um, yeah, it's just something I've come to accept. Like whenever I do any No More Heroes games in the future, if there are any, that there's just going to be at least one episode where something goes wrong in editing, but mm, whatever. That's not what I want to talk about. Um, what I want to talk about is um, something for the Xenoblade fans because um, I've made it known before, but I, I love the Xenoblade games. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is actually tied for my favorite game alongside Mother 3, but we're not talking about Mother 3. We're talking about Xenoblade. And um, Xenoblade Chronicles X, it's fun. It's different, but it's... It's not, for me at least, it's, um, I didn't enjoy it as much as Xenoblade Chronicles 1, but it's still a fun game. I, I did enjoy Xenoblade Chronicles X. Um, there, I still need to actually, um, 100% it. I'm almost done with that. It's just, I'm trying to build a scale and parts for that. Yeah, gathering parts is a pain. And I just have other stuff to do, but, yeah, it's still fun. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 very similar to Xenoblade Chronicles 1, and it's a ton of fun, and the thing I'm going to be talking about actually is related to Xenoblade Chronicles 2, because, um, yeah, I, I actually got something in the mail, that's what I'm talking about. So, um, I was browsing through Etsy a while back, and I saw something that's like, oh, that's pretty neat, and I figured since I had, like, the, the spare money for it, I was like, oh, might as well order it, and it arrived today, and it's, Something I'm very excited for because, again, I, I love Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Not, I don't know if I love it as much as Xenoblade Chronicles 1, because Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is really good. I know it has, in my opinion, um, it has the most um, fun battle system out of the three games. But, um, yeah. The thing I ordered is this. It's a real-life Aegis Core Crystal, which is pretty cool. And actually, it, it does pop out of here, like, this is just the stand, and that's the core crystal itself. This is just a, it's actually um, a backlit display that came with the thing. So let's just pop you back in, and um, when you order this, uh, you, can, you have the option of either getting this red Pyra stand or a yellow Mithra stand, but... Eh, I figured I might as well get this one, but um, yeah, it also comes with a, um, a USB light that you plug into here, which is right behind the stand, and let's actually show that off. So I got it plugged into the USB uh, power supply, which you could just plug into like um, a USB outlet adapter or just into your computer. So I'm just going to do that, and after plugging it in, it glows, which is really, really cool. Let's move my phone out of this for the shot, but yeah, really, really cool. So to give some backstory on Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Core Crystals, uh, they are items in the game that you can get and whenever you resonate with them, uh, you are given characters called blades, which um, let you use different weapons. They they have different skills for your main characters and whatnot. 
and um, the, the characters that resonate with um, core crystals and are given blades, they are called drivers. So back to this core crystal. So this core crystal, it has a unique design compared to the other core crystals in the game, but that's because it belongs to this character, this blade called Pyra, also Mithra. Uh, getting into that would be a bit weird to explain without uh, getting into spoiler territory. But um, yeah, and Pyra slash Mithra, they are known as the Aegis. Like this is the Aegis core crystal. And they are a special blade above all of the other blades, basically. And Rex, the main character of the game, is the driver of the Aegis. As for this replica, it's really well made. I'm going to put a link to the Etsy store uh, that I found uh, down in the video description. So definitely consider um, adding this to your collection if you're a Xenoblade fan, because this is really, really cool. Um, I don't know what material it's made out of, but it's... It's um, on the on the page for this, but yeah, again, it's really really cool, and maybe maybe like in the future, um, that Etsy store will have a purple one for Malos. But yeah, I'm a fan of this. It's definitely neat, and I'm not gonna have it plugged in all the time just because. I don't need to, but still, unfortunately, this, it's just a replica, like, I, I can't, like, resonate with this and get my own cool blade, because this is reality, and reality, it's often boring compared to, like, a lot of fictional universes, but, yeah, also, you know what, let's, um, turn off the light in my room just to see this thing like how well it glows and let's um focus you three two one Ooh, that's cool that's really cool definitely a fan of this but um anyways lights back on i think that's gonna be it for this vlog um i'm just gonna end it off here um again check out that store also just consider just checking out a lot of different Etsy stores because there's a lot of creative people there that make a lot of cool stuff but um yeah anyways uh thank you all so much for watching and see you all next time for another vlog later